Welcome to episode 30A and we are going to start it off with getting the town hall to level 3. So let's upgrade this here. Now we should be able to get these two upgraded. I kind of want to get my max uh, resources to 150,000 first before sleeping quarters. Um, Actually, 60. I should be able to get double fastness or... Yeah, we'll actually get sleeping quarters first. I think that's the, the better route to go. So I can get 60 workers up and running. Just got done with another Revenant trip. And we got some Ceradome and Statue thing. Fremenet Krypton patch. We got another Brawling Glove. Now the other day I did do a trip. And only got a pair of uh, Hunter Brawling Gloves. Which I can show you right here. I didn't really bother recording it. Because they're not really too interesting loot. And then I also got myself uh, some Adrenaline Crystals. Which is about 2 point some odd mil worth. About 2.5, 2.6 mil worth. That is a hundred and four. What was this? No, not construction. I got it. I got it in my brain. Crafting. It's hundred and four crafting. That's right. Two point two mil to the next level. Well, I think we should do this all the way to one twenty and see how much harmonic dust we have. What do you guys think? You think we should do that? Sounds a bit stupid. It's like what a thousand thousand hours. <laughs> I'm just sitting on the harp. Um, yeah kind of just happened we just got the jimmy pet on the harps i was afk but it's right here <laughs> oh my days um let's uh drop him down and let's see see what he looks like well he just looks like the smithing pet really uh smithing pet pretty much with um gems on the back i guess we've got quite a lot now there he is little jimmy pet <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I didn't think I would uh, get it. Now let's try and get the construction pet. Just got done with a Vindy task. And we got uh, a dormant animal core body. Can we please never get these ever again? I think they're like the exact same drop rate or drop table maybe as the um like the super rares. Like, uh, was it the Dragon Rider Lance and the Chris? Which are like over 20 mil each. Oh well. Better next... Better luck next time. Just finishing up my Mithril Dragon task right here, and we got an ancient page. It's kind of cool. I think this is for completionists or trim comp. I can just use that here, and it should say how many I have left. Um, maybe not. Uh, so the logbook. Okay, maybe it didn't. Well, I know that's a, a part of a comp, so if I get that, you just use them. Okay, so we got a back-to-back -back moss golem, or creatures of the lost grove, and we just got 101 uh, what, constitution, that's it, constitution. Um, yeah, so we've probably killed like a hundred, well, coming up to 200 of these. We need to we need to get some more drops here, please. Some more cinder bane gloves would be nice, or the, the, um, the, el the ancient elven ritual shard would be extremely nice as well. Still worth like 10 mil. I got a next reaper task. I think I have to kill 14. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go do it with reborn. So thank you for that reborn. Let's hope we, we can get a Torva play. That would be like 70 mil. Mm, that sounds so good. Like what? 37 mil split or something? 37.5 or something? First kill of the trip. We just got a full Torva helm. Very nice. So we just got another Torva helm, which is actually crazy. That's two Torva helms. All the rest are just being bruised, which is terrible, really, because we don't have any magic note paper on us. Just finished up with the whole hour, and I'll complete our reaper task here. We're going to receive the 29 mil split. Okay. Um, yep, I'm happy with that. 29.35. Even better. Just got done with an adamant dragon task. I know they're terrible, and I got three of these journals. I don't know if they're rare or not. I'm pretty sure I have to read them for like a compl like a comp achievement, or maybe I have to hand them in to someone. I might um go have a look in a second. Oh, well, there you go. You did have to read them, and we completed it all. I did a bit of um revenants, as you can see. These event mystery boxes are quite annoying, actually. They keep coming into my inventory. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's a promotion. We got some adrenaline crystals and a statue. That's it. 
we're gonna go and do two floors of dungeoneering because my friend Brad needs uh, some dungeoneering, well, one dungeoneering level, and it's our um, challenge. So we're gonna hand in probably both of these challenges at the same time. I completed all the dungeoneering floors with him. He's gonna get his level soon, but here's some nice dungeoneering, uh, dungeoneering XP. Super close to a level there. And get some uh, Slayer XP as well. Not very close to a level 5.3 mil XP away. I was 20k XP away from a fire making level and we just got 107. Yep, 107. It bugged out. That sucks, but yeah, there's 107 fire making from pretty much just bossing and bomb firing. I just finished up with my Abyssal Demon task and look how many like kind of unique things we got. We got nearly a full Triskelion fragment. We got six um, emeralds, spirit emeralds. Uh, wait, three emeralds and three sapphires. That was a pretty good hour, I would say. There is 101 Dungeoneering. We can now do floor 56. Is the Dungeoneering daily. There's 286k. Okay, Brett just got here because he uh, joined the wrong encounter and the first kill we did, Armadale Hill. So we got another job, we got an Armadale Buckler here. We also got a Gold Sword Shard 1 but I don't record it because it's, nah, it's a mech item. So we have probably about one more kill we can do, maybe two more kills and we just got another drop which is really nice, a Armadale Chain Scut. So Brett just wanted KC and then I actually told him how much the split was and I'm going to be nice, I'm going to give him half the split. Why not? Just got done with the Slayer task and we got 5 Key of the Crossings which is pretty rare I would say. Uh, we did get a back to back to back at one point and then the other two we got like at the start and at the end. Really really nice task. I uh, just got a hundred and forty million XP in Avention. That means we're only six, uh, sixty million XP away from our final destination. Two hundred million. Tell me some of your goals in uh, the comments section. I, I want to see what you guys are up to. Really, a full hour, well, half an hour of revs without a single blood with seed, a single drop. That makes me so sad. Not a, like, just give me a bloodweed seed. I'll be happy with that. We are now able to siphon our Nox Staff, which should bring us to a level, which is 138, finally. That took a little time to get. The next level is 3 million XP only away. That's not too bad. So we did another trip, and we literally got a blood seed and a corrupt dragon plate skull. My RNG is going so... Oh, I don't even know. I don't know where it is right now. Like, last episode we were getting lucky. Now we are getting pretty much dry trips. So that trip we only got a status uh, full helm. Pretty sad, but it's not too bad. I want to go see what this Mega Duck um, mass is all about. Because I don't think it's personally going to work. Because you need to lure it all the way down to Oogalog or something. Um, yeah, I think it's Uglog just here. So you start off in Falador and you pull it all the way down, all the way to here. And then you kill it and you have a chance of getting the pet. It's like 1 in 20 or something. But it takes forever. So that mass turned out pretty bad. Everyone keep killing the Mega Duck. And I want to say we just hit 400 subscribers. Well, not just now, but a little bit couple of hours ago so um thank you for everyone that's uh, subscribed uh, i hope to bring you some really good content later on in the future and thank you for all the views on my last video we got nearly i think over 500 views in four days really awesome thank you guys i think it's time to try the magister i need to get a kill for reaper title probably not going to get a reaper title in a while because i do need to get a solak kill and i don't have any teams to do solak so i'm gonna go and attempt to do the magister and that should be it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I saw the range hit. Oh well. Well, we got the kill at least. So my private was off, but it doesn't really matter. We got a ascension grip, which I think you can only go on task. Uh, yeah, well, that's an easy 3 points a mod mill. And there is a key piece here. 
So any audio from now on is kind of broke. I'm sorry. It's, it is there, but it's really quiet. Yeah, I I think you can sell it. Yeah, 100k, but I I don't I don't know. Maybe we'll sell it, maybe not. There we have it. 115 magic. Yep, that's right. Apparently you can pick your reaper tasks this week as well. So, I'm going to probably finish off my magister kills, which I only have like 7. Yeah, 7 more to get. And yeah, we're setting up 5,870 Slayer points, which is pretty crazy. I'm going to try and get as many as I can without spending them. Just got done with the Magister. It was pretty fun. I got a uh, new time, 1 minute 15 seconds, I do believe. Oh, 1 minute 12, even better. Um, I died a couple times, but, well, that's expected. Learning a new boss. I killed about 11 times, I believe. It wasn't too bad to do, and we got a... Uh, a challenge here we can hand in. I also extended it, so let's see how much XP we get. Probably 100k. Yeah, 125k. That was nice. Just got ourselves a Reaper task, the Vindictor. And we're going to go do that with Bread. We're going to go do a little duo there and see if we can get anything nice. We're not going to do the full hour, but we'll see what happens. So, there is another Abyssal Head. We'll add that to the collection, and one day maybe we'll be able to put them on our uh, wall in our house, like a bunch of them. Just finished my daily reaper task. We had a Vindy task, made 1.7 mil here. We might go and do some more Slayer, try and get that 6,000 points. Probably gonna go do a couple Slayer tasks. I think it's about that time we go back to Armadale. We got a, a Aviancy task here, which is 156. If I do this at Armadale, especially on this uh, week because of all the Slayer buffs and whatever, be really nice XP, uh, potentially nice drops as well, so it could be good money. Definitely gonna knock this out at Armadillo instead of just killing these Aviancies. I missed it, good YouTuber. Um, just got 111 range right here, uh, virtual level. Very bad hour for us, we did not get any drops at all, unfortunately, but hey, what can I complain? It was some pretty nice XP at least. Made 170k, so probably about the overloads and supplies that we um, cost us. To anyone that has made it through to this part of the video, which is kind of far on near the end now, I just want to say I'll be on holiday um, from the 19th to the 30th. I'm still debating if I'll have a video out between them because it's going to be pretty hard. Uh, I'm going to New York, if you didn't know. And... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really too sure. Maybe I'll try and get a, an episode and try and edit it on the plane, maybe. But I'm not promising anything. So, yeah, I'm not dead. I'm just on holiday for, I think, pretty much two weeks. All right, I'll try and get a video out. I'm not too sure if I can, though. So this is actually going to be the end of the episode. I'm going to just quickly claim my Slayer reward. We have 62,000 XP, I guess 25% extra XP on top of that because it's Slayer for this week. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. That'd be awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.